Welcome to the Heartland Author Podcast. I'm Aaron Apollo Camp, the host of this podcast. Today's episode will be about a controversy involving three male Spanish authors, Jorge Diaz, Augustin Martinez, and Antonio Mercero, winning a major award for a book they wrote under a female pen name, Carmen Mola. I will also have a major announcement about the future of this podcast toward the end of this episode. Earlier this month, the Spanish publisher Grupo Planeta awarded its annual Primo Planeta de Novela award to the book La Bestia, whose title means The Beast, by Carmen Mola. La Bestia is a Spanish-language historical thriller set during a cholera outbreak during the mid-1830s. The book was published by Grupo Planeta, the same company which grants the Premio Planeta de Novela Award. The Premio Planeta de Novela Award is no small prize by anyone's imagination. The award is the single richest prize that an author can receive for a literary work as the winning author receives a 1 million euro cash prize, which is roughly equivalent to $1.163 million in American money. A CNN article quoted the website of Carmen Mola's agent describing Mola as a Madrid-born author who is a university professor by trade. As it turns out, Carmen Mola is not a real-life person, but rather the pen name of three authors, Jorge Diaz, Augustine Martinez, and Antonio Mercero. Mola is portrayed as a woman, yet the three authors who use the pen name are all men. To put it mildly, the revelation that Carmen Mola is three men using a female pen name quickly became a major controversy. It was common until relatively recent times for female authors to use male pen names, although this practice is less common nowadays, and I consider female authors using, using male pen names to be an outdated practice. Although I am not completely opposed to the usage of pen names, I do not like the idea of male authors such as myself using female pen names at all. There are many female authors who write under either their real names or under female pen names, and the idea of a man pretending to be a woman to sell books is sexist. If men are going to write books under pen names, they should use pen names that are either male or ambiguous as to the gender of the actual author. Moving right along, I have a major announcement regarding the future of this podcast. I don't want to overpromise anything, but if all goes to plan, I will begin doing interviews on this podcast once again starting later this week. I haven't done an interview for this podcast since all the way back in season one, so it's been a while since I've interviewed anyone for this podcast. In recent days, I have started using Podmatch to help me schedule interviews with guests. Podmatch also helps me helps match me with interview guests so I can interview people who have experience and or expertise in fields commonly covered on this podcast, such as writing, books, literature, and other writing-related topics. You can sign up for Podmatch for free at www.podmatch.com. If Podmatch doesn't match you with me, you can email me at camparinapollo at outlook.com and set up an interview with me. And you may also find opportunities to appear on other interesting podcasts using Podmatch. Interviews on the Heartland Author Podcast are audio only. This is Aaron Apollo Camp reminding y'all to write your imagination. Bye for now. You can learn more about me and my book writing projects at Author AAC. WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Author AAC. You can also watch videos on the Heartland Author channel on YouTube. Copyright 2021, Aaron Apollo Camp, All Rights Reserved.
This podcast episode is intended for the private listening of its audience. Any reuse or retransmission of this podcast episode without the express written consent of the podcast host is prohibited, except under fair use guidelines. Royalty-free music and sound effects obtained from https colon forward slash forward slash www.zapsplat.com.